Okay? It's about how to find Nash equilibrium using the best response function. So for the definition of Nash equilibrium, Nash equilibrium situation, and by situation we mean a pair of strategies such that no part has the same significant in logic. There's another way to find Nash equilibrium, which pretty much coincides, which means to compute the best response function. notation of best response doesn't actually mean that we're necessarily going step by step, response by response, approaching something. There is no such a thing as like, an equilibrium is not, it's not, it's not about the path to achieve it, it's a, it's a situation that I want an incentive to move. Okay, so you don't have to literally think about, oh, if you do this, I will do that, and, uh, and then if I respond like this, you will respond like that, until you reach equilibrium. You don't have to, to worry about the path. We just have to find all the equilibrium. So that's why I'm slightly reluctant to use this best response 
notation because people tend to think about a path and I just want you to think about the situation. But in, according to this notation, and for this example, it works pretty well. For these examples of the world, it works pretty well. Is a an Nash equilibrium. The idea is this. Let's take a strategy for, for player one, S1. And in the strategy for S1, let's figure out what is the best response for the strategy S1. So if player two, if player one was playing S1, what would player two would like to do? Well, we would like to do the best response for two. So this is just S2. And also, the best response that one would have for this strategy S2 is to play the strategy S1 initially. If this is the case, this is an S2. It's the same thing as a situation where no, nobody has incentives to deviate in the law. So if the, if, your side, if, if your side is going to the street of uh, probability one half, then Aziz would like to go, would be indifferent between going to the street and uh, going, to the, going to the mountains. And one of the possible things that in the best response function would be to go to the street with probability three leaves. And therefore, your side would be indifferent and his best response function would be more than one half. get more clear when I did the example. It's just a way to solve it for, uh, for Ash equilibrium. That's a more intuitive way, I like better, is a more mathematical way. If you're really into mathematics, you, you probably can see that this is a fixed point for me, which is how actually Ash equilibrium it. Uh, I think this is going to get a little bit more clear after the break. We're going to have a five minute break now. I have your homework one here, so if you want to pick up class. <laughs> I'm not very
Zone for good. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Thank <laughs> you. 
more than the price that I have from my, co from my competitor, I'm going to sell for all the markets. <coughs> so in the end, the quantity that is going uh, the quantity that is going to be sold
So if I have a price that is smaller than my competitor, I'm going to sell directly in the market. So the price is going to go to PA, and I'm going to get the market. All the chairs that are sold are going to be mine. So just solving here the some algebra, just solving here for Q, uh, I got the Q that produces the bigger to this. So my profit We're still missing a case here. What happens when they're both equal? Well, I haven't said the rule yet. I haven't specified a rule. But we, let's pretend that we just split the profit if we're both equal. Charge for A, 
we are finding the chart form. We are comp competing against the chart form. Price that form B is putting them on. What is the best response for me? What is the best? What is the price that I should set? Cherries or C is equal to one dollar. It costs one job, one dollar to produce every extra pound of cherry. And uh, our neighbor, we know that our neighbor is setting price of five dollars. Therefore, the best response for us is to charge it four ninety nine. But I'm charge, charging four four ninety nine, and he charging five dollars. This can this be an equilibrium? What does our neighbor wants to do? Smaller possible unity of money, 
of the unit. We can think of epsilon just like a one second in this case. So it's a smaller possibility. The truth is, if it's charging P, PA equals to PB 499, I will charge it 498. But that's also not an equilibrium. We can keep playing this forever. And then we're going to reach what? result. Because there are two forms there, but in the end, they get the same level. If, if, if both of the price equals to C, the quantity, well, we can go by the quantity, but I already know the quantity is going to be uh, A minus C divided by B. equal to C, they obtain profit here equal to zero. If I cut the price a little bit more, I have a negative profit. I don't want to do this. If I raise a little bit, I still got zero. If I hate, if I if I raise two cents, therefore the other one has incentive to improve for one cent and therefore I have to go back to price equals to one.
What happens in the real life is that like, they're ordering sentence for Kaluuya to be in Kaluuya. Often we're not playing this once, we're going to play this year after year after year. We have reputations, we have portraits on this, and now we say this for conclusion of here. Are they cartels are there like... Yeah, but cartels they don't play once. They play year after year after year after year. They play months to get a little bit harder for them. But we're going to talk about this. You, you, you are on to the next one. A model that, uh, that achieves a puzzling result. There's another one due to another kind of. By the way, they don't show this and all of this. A hundred years before Nash came to the solution. Uh, some smart people were thinking long time ago. We're going to go now to another model of Kuno where people compete choosing quantities. The price is determined by the market. You have to decide how much they produce. And uh, Kuno achieves a, a yields a different result. By the way, it's very likely, I think uh, this is going to be the question of uh, the homework about how Bertrand and Akuno playing repeated games. Don't blame Brian, it was already the plan, my plan to put that in. So you guys can, can solve. We have you now in Kuno, instead of changing prices and then producing as much as they, uh, uh, as much as they want, they're going, to, they're going to choose quantity. So we're just going to show up there with cherries and put our, all, all our cherries there in the market. And then the, uh, uh, and then the price is going to come up for the quantity that we're trying to sell. So the cost is the same as before, C times Q. The price that we have there is still the same as we had before, A minus B times the BQ. But the big quantity now is the sum of the quantities that we have decided to produce. And now we find that we try to solve the following problem. Right? I'm going to try to maximize my profit, which is the same as it was into uh, as it was in, uh, in Monopoly and the same as it was in perfect competition. But now my price is a function of how much I produce, as it was in Monopoly, but it's also a function of how much the other cherry farm produces. And we're going to take what the other cherry farm does as given and try to maximize our profit here. So we're from farm A wants to maximize the profit, choosing the quantity. But now the, the 
the profit is And now using the fact that the total quantity in the market is the sum of our quantities. Up the quantity that all the other firms to produce. Okay, and now how to solve this? Again, we just take, take QB as given and take for sure condition. I have, as, as usually, positive feature here is the more that I produce, the more I'm going to sell. A negative feature here, which means that the more I produce, higher is my cost. And a negative feature here, that means that the higher that I produce, the smaller is going to be the price. So the first order condition here, differentiating this function, I have uh, A minus 2 B QA. So basically, means that my optimal quantity of producing here is A minus C divided by 2B, which is exactly the quantity of monopoly here, minus what they produce divided by 2, the other one produced divided by 2. It means that if the other firm was producing zero quantity, well, I would produce quantity exactly equal to the monopoly. I'm exactly the same problem as I was before. feature when the models coincide with all the models that we have seen. And now we have to solve the problem for firm B. Now we can go there and put the problem there and take the first order condition. Or we can just, just realize, because of this, it takes like two lines. But we can realize that this problem is perfect symmetric. They have the same demand, they have the same cost, they, they both play simultaneously. Thus, the first order condition is going to be the same.
graph form. This is not the same graph as I had before, because here I have QA, and here I have QB. It's not exactly as, as the other graphs. Best response functions here. Let me see if I got this right. Uh, if uh, QB is equal to zero, the best response function for A is to produce A minus C divided by 2B. function equals to the best response of the other one. And in this case here, <laughs> we actually cross the 45 degree line. Another way to argue this is just say, look, the problem is symmetric. They have the same cost structure, the same demand function. Uh, the same situation position in the market. Therefore, the quantity they produce should be the same. That's actually true. Q 
QA. Wes Baker just copied that function there. Right? 